Kelpa Louis, yeah. someone we haven't seen in quite a while. Good to yeah. have you back. Good to be back. Uh, it's been almost a year since you fought, and we got a fight coming up with yes. you, which will be what two days less than a year. Two days less than a year, so I guess it's like a year, a year to the week, but to the day it's like two days. All right, well, I know you had an eventful uh, last year. Tell us what's yeah. been going on with you. Um, well, I got married this year, uh, and when did I get married? In July. So I've just kind of like been doing. I, ha I haven't been. I haven't fought, but I've been doing like a lot of tournaments. Uh, my husband just got his black belt, so this year he won the. He came here in March. Shout out there, right there. My husband. <laughs> yeah, he came here in March. He was supposed to just stay for a week, and then he ended up staying to the world. So he's been running a lot of the classes over at Roberts. Uh, we like four or five classes a week. Sometimes uh, a little bit more if Robert is traveling. So he's kind of been like the filling guy there, like teaching all the classes. And he won the worlds at Brown Belt this year, uh, the Nogi World and the the uh, regular Gi World. So I've just been doing a lot of. Like traveling, a lot of tournaments. But you've been competing yourself. What, yeah, yeah. Tell us, I know you've had been quite successful there. Tell us what you've done. Yeah, I won the Pan Ams this year in the Gi, and then I, I won a bunch of like other smaller tournaments, like Opens and stuff. But I also got second and third, uh, second in my division, third in the Open in the Gi this year at the Worlds, and then I won the Nogi World, so I got uh, the brown belt also. Got my brown belt from Robert. A couple questions about marriage. First of all, before being a single gal. How does that different training as opposed to now being married and having, you know, a family life? How does that affect your training? You know, when we got married, we were like, oh, you know, it's not going to change anything, but I think marriage changes everything. Like, your, your whole mindset is different about just life. It's not like you're just living for yourself. Like, before it was just like me, I come to the gym and go train. Like, I can stay all day at the gym, and now it's like, okay, I have a husband that I'm cooking for, and we're cleaning, and now we have, like, our own place. So, you know, it's like a big house we're trying to take care of, and it's like I'm teaching a lot now. I'm doing a lot of privates, training, and managing that has been different with two people and just like one person you know but it's great i love it but also with him being a an accomplished uh yeah. you know uh jiu-jitsu guy himself does that help i mean you guys yeah help definitely. each other out a lot there? yeah definitely like uh he's changed my game a lot like not just me but like everyone at the gym uh his dad's a referee and he's also a referee too so he he brings like a different aspect to my game like not just in jiu-jitsu but like in fighting well as well as like one of the last things i was missing was like strategy um like knowing when to go when not to go when to be like a little bit more conservative when to go crazy like sometimes we're doing the crazy things in the beginning and like okay no you wait till the very end if it's like the last dish effort then you go crazy or just knowing when to expose when not to expose when to be calm like how to use the, the point system and jiu-jitsu or even in fighting like how same thing you know like some people are just like much like some people like me i just fight with my heart i go in there and i just want to like give the best fight I can but now I'm like adding a little bit of like strategy to fighting so he's helped helped me a lot with that and yeah like having the same goals obviously is much better I never you know don't he doesn't have someone like come on we need to go home you can't stay at the gym and it's the same for me you know like we're there all day long now you came into the sport relatively late mm -hmm. to MMA You've had this year off, the last fight didn't go your way, a lot of, you know, not only did you not get a decision, but it was just a whole strange fight all, yeah, yeah. all together. Has this break allowed you to kind of recharge your batteries, get before? What's, what's the break been like? Has it been welcome for you? The, the break was great for me. I think like uh, in 2015, Invicta kind of kept me like, okay, maybe you're going to fight in July, and then okay, you're going to fight in September. Then the girl I'm actually fighting now didn't take the fight with me in September. Or at least that's what I was told. And then she went on to fight for the belt instead. And then like that next fight was supposed to be in October. It got pushed to November, December, January, then mid-January. So it was like six months of trying to stay ready. And by the time that I fought, I mean, everybody saw what happened in the fight. You know, some people thought I, well, a lot of people thought I had won. But I mean, at the end of the day, I didn't get the decision. And I think after that, I just wanted to take a break. Like by the time I had fought, I hadn't even cut any weight because I had stayed ready for so long. I was already so small. and. It was just like mentally a lot. Like I never felt like that before and I was just like, I just want to take a break. I want to enjoy my life a little bit. I was still training a lot and like I said, I competed a lot. Like between eight and 10 tournament, 10 might be pushing it, but a lot of tournaments, uh, a lot of training. I just got to rest my mind, I think more than anything. Now I feel ready to go. Like now I'm excited to fight. So you're back in the cage January 14th. Yeah. You got 22? 21. 21. Yeah. Uh, girl, you're fighting, got a pretty record. Talking about earlier though, but she's only fought one really tough. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, everyone's yeah. tough when you get in the cage, but one one real big name, you know, Tony yeah, Evans. Yeah. She lost that fight. Mm -hmm. What do you know about her? What kind of challenges she present for you? Um, I I actually saw Penny fight in her debut in Invicta. I think that uh, I mean she's a good fighter. You know, she she's tough, but I think that uh, I think it'll be a good fight. Everybody thinks it's going to be a war and all this stuff, but I don't I don't see it that way. I, I I'm. 
I'm there to fight a smart fight and to get my hand raised at the end, you know, and I think I have a lot more tools than she does to win the fight. Well, before, the, before your last fight, you know, you thought you were the title pitcher, mm -hmm. of course, losing that fight. Where does that, and then being a year off, yeah. where do you see yourself right now going into this fight? <laughs> uh, you know, do you think you win here, down in performance, you're right back in that? Intention, where do you see yourself? I think so. I still think I'm one of the better girls in the division. Uh, you know, Tanya just lost, but I guess I think they like overruled the fight. So I think now that like I finally thought the division was out of a weird place where there was like both like dropping out of fights, this and that. And then they had brought another girl and she beat Tanya, but they overruled it. I really have no idea why, but. Uh, so now it's kind of in a weird place where they're probably going to rematch again and if I was to win I, I think you know like Panny fought for the belt her last fight And if I was to beat Panny, I think that would put me into title contention But I think Invicta is strange about that kind of stuff. They kind of do whatever they want to do So I'm just here to fight. We've well, kept yourself in shape. You know, we've been doing the tournaments But mm -hmm. just getting back to MMA training. Saw you pushing through a tough workout yeah. here a few minutes ago with Dewey Cooper What's it like getting back to MMA training? Um, it's good. Like I've been hitting pads here and there, but it's just like with the jiu-jitsu tournaments, we've been doing it so often that it's like been traveling and not coming in here as much. But I've, I've still been coming to meeting with doing when I can, and I've been doing some other like striking training at Roberts also. But yeah, my lungs are burning. You know, I've been doing some sparring like earlier this week and last week, but like slowly getting into it. This week was like my really, really hard. I'm gonna have like four hard weeks and then cool off that last week. But yeah, you know, sparring Dewey is no joke. He spars safe, but he still tries to beat me up too. So I, I was got, tired yeah, by the end. 70, 80 pounds. Yeah, think, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But it was good, you know, just being able to move, um, move around, and just yeah, it was good. It was really good. All right, well, we'll keep up in touch with you. We'll be seeing you a lot now. Now that you're yeah. back here, uh, congratulations again Thank on the marriage so and, and the, the tournaments, and look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Next month. <laughs>